I wanted to share with you an application that allows you to perform stabil stability analysis on the iPhone. You can actually run it by tapping on VI Flash and the logic of the stability analysis is actually stored uh, within the SAS macro. So to run that you would then select on the macro here and go directly and select the stability analysis macro and you have the option of selecting data sets, analysis types, and titles as parameters. So let me go ahead and just run an example to show you what that would look like. This is actually performing the analysis dynamically and then returning the results in the format of a PDF file, which you can then zoom in and see the results here. So in this example, if I were to go back and go to um, the final part of the report near on page 8. Um, it shows me a more graphical representation of the report, uh, the analysis itself. As you can see there's various different text um, listings but in this example it shows you the actual graphical report um, of that stability analysis. <clears throat> the way that's done is I first recommend that you look at the FDA website that describes to you the process as to um, you know the the actual principles and how you would present the data <clears throat> in the recommended guidelines here including some of the example graphs that they show um, this is actually I'll show you here at this website FDA.gov regulatory information um, guidances here. So if you were to go to that location, you can then read more as to the outro process as to how you would perform the analysis. But in this example, um, the way that we did it was you first select on the library which determines where on the server the SAS input data set which contains you know the, the raw data that you're going to analyze. So I'm going to select the stability data here. If you were to load many data sets, you can perform different analyses on different data. I just have one example here, which I'll go ahead and select. And then um, you have the option of selecting all the different types of analyses, which we did on the first example. If I wanted to, I can change this and I can select on just one analysis for example the sum by slope in that case um, I can actually change the title if I wanted to to specify that this is the uh, you know this slope analysis that um, I wanted to run so I'll go ahead and type with my fingers here and you can have as many or up to five, four titles which appears at the top of the report. So if I were to run this now, um, it would generate a different, uh, upon the same data, but a different report, in this case just the slope. As you can see, if I were to zoom in uh, using the pinch, um, that this is the title that I specified earlier the slope analysis and the same report that you saw earlier but only a specific section whereas the all report that we ran earlier displayed all eight pages this one in only contains this one page of this particular analysis so this is how you could dynamically um, run your reports uh, on the iPhone and it gets the actual latest information because when you click on run it actually is executing the analyses and running the SAS program and returning the results to your iPhone dynamically so if you were to have the latest data uh, you would then get the latest uh, stability analysis